Good morning. Um, my name is Elizabeth Kailemia from Meru County, the women representative. Uh, this morning, uh, we are here as women leaders from Meru County. Uh, bringing our concerns regarding um, the governor of Meru this morning. We want to convince, or rather we want to bring our views on why uh, Kawira Mwangaza, the governor, should be impeached. Um, I want to say in the first place that it's not about gender and the, this of being playing victim as uh, Kawira is being impeached because she's a lady is very untrue. Uh, we are impeaching the character and the incompetence of Kawera Mwangaza. Meru Kanto respects women leaders and even service delivery, women empowerment. Um, and we disregard the disrespect of this lady. Um, there are several reasons why the Meru County women leaders uh, are coming up to talk about this impeachment. Uh, she has breached law. She has had a contempt of court, contempt of the county assembly. She lacks integrity and contravening chapter six of the constitution, which is about uh, integrity. Um, I wanted that introduction so that the further state with us today can know that we have leaders and competent women who are leading in other uh, areas in Kenya, not only in Meru, and they are very successful and they are doing what their raw entails. It is a very sad day for us mm -hmm. as the Meru community and Meru women as I stand here today. Meru County is in a crisis. Meru mm -hmm. County is the only county which has not been operational from the day we voted last year, the month of August to date. We have been treated to drama, theatrics, and a lot of other funny things in the name of Governor Nimama. It is important for us to know as we stand here, even the media can know what our agenda is. We don't have to keep repeating to anyone because you can always tell by looking at a person. And today we are here so that we can let the world know no one among us is fighting gender. Yes. Yeah. Nobody is fighting gender. Because people have spoken, leaders are saying Meru is a patriarchal society, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they don't embrace women, but I want to state these are women and they have been embraced by the Meru community. Yes. We are highly respected mm -hmm. back at home and if anything and for record, it, Meru is the only community among many other communities which has the most learned women. Yes. And they are there and they are respected. Mm -hmm. So for anyone to hide behind gender, then that would be a very sorry state. And if anybody wants to stand with gender and hide behind women, and they are truly faithful that they want women never to be touched, let them go to Rangata Women Prison and vindicate all the women who are jailed there. Yeah. Because according to me, my understanding is a criminal is a criminal mm -hmm. irrespective of, of gender. gender. Yes. So we want that to clearly go to the world that nobody is fighting gender. anybody in terms of gender. Yes. And the community is more than willing to support another woman, even if it's tomorrow. Yes. What we are simply saying, 
The MCAs have come out with a memoranda. The MCAs are the ones who stay in the county assembly day in, day out. And the MCA have given us their concerns. And these concerns are very pertinent. And I want to underscore what the county woman rep stated and what Jane Kiberia has stated yes. that we cannot support nepotism. Yes. Yeah. That is number one. We cannot support gross misconduct, misconduct mm -hmm. and gross incompetence in a public office. Yes. Yeah. And incompetence will be proved. We cannot support direct favorism when it comes to employment and firing of yes. people. Yeah. This is the only county where people have been brought to office Today, you hear the CEC roads has been fired. Tomorrow, CEC what has been fired. The criteria is not known. And every time there is a replacement, it is a replacement of who is who in the range of the person who is hiring and firing. Mm -hmm. We want the government systems to be respected. Yeah. Yes. The law is very clear yeah. on how one is supposed to be employed and how employment must be terminated. Yes. So I want to call upon the people in the national government. And with a lot of respect, I want to call upon the chair, council of governor, mm. Madam Anne Moigoro, who we respect so much yes. because this is a leader who is above board. Mm -hmm. She has been in a ministry and she ran it so well. She has been in a county that she is running and she is there for the second term. I want to call upon my sister, Cecilia Baride, Cecilia Barida is a very competent reader, yes. for record. Yes. Mm. And instead of Cecilia and Han supporting our lady, whom we love so much because she's a lady like us, they should have taken a whole year, the previous year, to take her through tutorials mm. so that she can know how to govern Meru mm. County. Yes. Now the die is cast, it is in the darkest hour of the night, mm -hmm. and there is no reversing. Will give, she'll be given an opportunity to serve in an, another area where she is more competent, and I'm calling upon the Senate. I want to thank them because yesterday the motion went before them, and I'm sure they will debate, and we want to, to ask them to look at every item, word for word, sentence for sentence, and if they think it is the mayor you is uh, uh, MCS who are wrong, the Senate, with its own intelligence, will be able to advise. But we are saying our desire as the mayor community, our desire as the mayor county women, mm -hmm. it is to see a peaceful mayor. Yes. Yes. We want the burden of shame removed from our backs. Yes. Yes. We don't want to be in the newspaper every day, day in, day out, for, the for all the wrong reasons. Mm. We don't want the, our children to be treated in the media every day by drama, theatrics, and abusive language. Yes. Yes. We never teach. I have been a teacher all my life. And children know leaders must be respected. Yes. But when they hear an MP being abused, like a small boy, and this MP is the representative of everybody because our constitution is clear. Our issue is the grounds raised by the MCA uh, about impe the impeachment. We concur with them that Kawira Mongasa has embezzled our public funds. She has been outrageous in employing and most of the employees employees she brings are members of her family. She is held for contempt of court, held for contempt of assembly, and her irregular appointments are a heel conceived personal vedetta she has for the employees that she finds having been recruited by previous governments. They are still Meru, they qualify, but she fires them individually. Sisi atutaki mama angolewe mamlakani jilini mama. 
uh, wakati alikuwa anangolewa uh, mwaka uliopita tulisimama wengi wetu na tukamsupport lakini wakati huu tunasema ya kwamba mambo yenye alikuwa anasemekana hapo ni ya ukweli ameweza kufanya mambo yenye ayaeleweki yeye kazi yake ni vipindi sinema na mambo ambayo hawezi kupeleka meru ambako tunatarajia hiwe amekuwa kiongozi wa kutusi wengine amekuwa hana heshima na kiongozi yeyote ambaye anatoka meru viongozi wote waliochaguliwa viongozi wa national na wa county ana heshima hata na CS ambaye ameweza kuteuliwa na rais wetu kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba huyu mama kazi pia hawezi ana competence ana ile ujuzi wa kuweza kujua au kuelewa jinsi ya kufanya kazi kama gavana means pesa mashinani if our county government of Meru cannot support business community how are we supposed to grow as a county our governor cannot see eye to eye with any member of parliament the bad blood is too much created by her herself and nobody else she will send her husband to the media to insult other leaders to talk propaganda about other leaders that is why we say Meru is beyond repair. The leadership of our governor is, cannot be salvaged. And we call, among, we call upon our senators. We love the governor. But keeping her in office means sending her to a worse situation. This can even send her to jail. Because a governor who cannot even be advised by the security apparatus of this country that this place is unsafe, do not proceed. And she will proceed and do our Kolea programs of one cow, yet Meru requires sustainable development projects. Mm -hmm. She will go to the ground with one cow. According to me, with the authority of being a doctor, is mental illness. We even requested her that she resigns. We shall facilitate her rehabilitation so that when she is okay, when she is healed, she can be able to buy. We cannot have shame just because she's a woman. And we are calling on Governor Waiguru to open eyes, not just to open the ratifications and the agreement, and I, I support my sister. We are having a county, not a house. Kwa sababu vile tunayendelea, hii Meru County itarudi nyuma badala ya kwenda mbele. Kama muta insist tuendelea na ule kiongozi yuko, kwa sababu ni mama. Huyu mama hasupport hata wa mama wengine. Hataki kuona wa mama wengine. Kwa ofisi yake ni wama, hakuna wa mama wako kwa ofisi. Hajawahi kutuita mkutano hata kutuuliza ni vipi tunaweza kuendelea tukiwa county. Kwa hivyo sisi tunataka kusema tuna support wa mama wenzetu lakini wakati huu kama mama ako na incompetence. Wacha ukweli usemwe tukubaliana ya kwamba kama huyu mama hawezi hii kazi. Wacha tumuondwe tuleta mama mwingine mm -hmm. kwa sababu sisi hatuna shida na wa mama mm -hmm. thank you very much. and to hear what our cries are the future of our children is in disarray mm -hmm. and our forefathers will never forgive us for having stood in the in the time of our of our children and being part and parcel of a disorganized organization called Meru County mm -hmm.